My guys, I wasn't so close not to filming today, but my guys convinced me to film today. Just trying to find... Why is it zoomed in all the time? Just trying to find a tripod to use. What the fuck's a tripod? Ugh. Found it. Found it. Alright. Oz Comic Con, here we go. Film just your head. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll, I'll make a good action shot this time. Should we go to the same cafe as last time? We're having breakfast. Where? What is it? Urban. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one. That, that, that one cafe. That was a good cafe. Hey, Molly, they have whiz fizz. Yeah, no, yeah, it wasn't half bad. So, is this artist that you guys are full fanboying about going to be there? The comic artist? Chamba, yeah. Chamba. Yeah. Is it just me or is this lineup feel weaker than Supernova? I don't know, I haven't so doped out the comic book artists as much, but... Yeah. Oh, you mean like celebrities? Yeah, celebrity-wise, the people that are going to be there, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got like, Joe Mang Mangolia, who's playing like, the playbook, and he's playing Death Note. Oh, yeah? He's there, Archie. I'll let you go out first, Chad. Latte. Yeah. Oh no, it's cut. It's coffee cup. Oh, <laughs> even worse. I know. How are you? Uh, oh, the coffee club. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Support yeah. <laughs> support your local. Yeah. Support your local. <laughs> Nah, she, well she sort of is, she's like quirky like that, but like she sort of like, I'm just introducing it to her for like the first time. I know, I know, it's like, it's yeah, I wouldn't peg her for, for something like that, but it's just a, such a beautiful and like cultural event. Uh, she she wanted to be an artist when she, when she was a kid. But she never got the chance. She it, encourages you, right? I know, I know. It was actually my mum and my dad wanted to be artists. Because mm -hmm. um, my dad was a car designer. Oh, wow. And um, he was he was like pegged as the youngest car designer in Australia. Yeah. Like, he did catering with my mum. Mm -hmm. they, they both um, did a catering business. So that's what they, they gave up there. It was just too hard. But they were really good artists. And my dad could like draw cars like up the back of his hand, you know? Don't know I'm back. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, Alright. Who's got the keys? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, love, I love how Ollie's like, <laughs> what? What? I got the keys, I think. No, there they go. Fear not.
All right, where the hell do we go? Uh, are we gonna find the uh, elevator? Ah, the sun's blinding. I'll like film everyone else. No, I'm filming us. Look at those selfie sticks oh. now. Be part of the. Does that extend? Nah, nah, it, it's crap. This, this tripod thing's crap. <laughs> I know. I'm like all seeing it through the camera eyes. Camera lens. Yeah. Whoop. Sith wouldn't do that. I get myself a Spider-Man outfit. <laughs> yeah, you do need one, man, because you look fucking awesome in it. Oh, look at that. That anti gwenum Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's sick. That's a lot win. Oh, that's like an actual spot. Uh, it's pretty weird. Hi, um, we just got in. Okay, bye. She's there. She's she's going to get food and she'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> be careful not to bump into anything. You could see the chumba along the way. Where? No, I'm wondering if we see the chumba along the way. All right, is she sitting? Oh Jesus! Oh. You too. Hi, Hi, darling. Hi. Where's Chad, baby? Chad's getting a ticket. Oh, the poor bugger. But it's like risky ass because like 70 percent. I mean, 95 percent no, sold. I wanted. Yeah. And like we queued up like for hours. To Hello. Get. I reckon you've done well. Yeah. Hey, okay, where are you? Yeah. So, oh, you're in. do you like it so much? Well? Great. I'm sitting are you, here. Can you see the people kiosk? Watching. The kiosk yeah. People watching. Nah, yeah. people. There's all sorts so of shapes and sizes so and anime, animation, yeah. film, art. Lots so of. So there is a really good Moana. Moana. Yeah. Huge kind of thing. Oh yeah. And he's, he doesn't fill out his thing. It's really flesh and blood. Like he's, oh, he's actually. And all the Spider-Man. Yeah. He's, he's a real. He's got these thighs that are just like. Spider-Man <laughs> Mom, thighs. Mom thighs. Freaking out. Oh, it's just a, their bodies are built a certain way, and they get right. I'll morph into that character. It's yeah. Really, really good. Well, like, doesn't Jordan make a good Spider-Man? Like a, like a really. Yes. Because the guy was doing all these poses on the floor on his tippy toes, like as if he's bringing out his spider web. That's right. Well, that's good. See, look at this. All the posing. Yeah. This is so cool. No, this is so cool. And I think this is a good time to come. Yeah. So is this doing? Yeah. Don't worry. Don't, just ignore the camera. Oh, just really? act naturally. Oh, all right. Yeah. Um, I'm going to check out the drawing stands with you, and yes. we're going to work out which ones are. Yes, really exactly. I'm gonna. We're, we're yeah, trying yeah, to figure out what um, questions oh, for the, nice the artists to, to do, and um, yeah. I'm just gonna ask them one, one at a time. So one question. So, one question. Yeah. Have like five. Go right now. Okay. Okay. Right. Who inspires you? Um, what's your what, favorite what, thing about Oz Comic Con? What motivates you to get here? You know, like that's the same. The drive. Yeah. yeah. What drives you? What drives you? Um, what is what? the most frustrating thing about what you do? Do you do anything else other than this to earn money? Oh cool. Okay. Alright, so um, I just wanted to 
talk about um, again your work and also the, the con as well. And so, what's your favourite thing about well, when you anticipate uh, Oz Comic Con? Uh, my favourite thing about Oz Comic Con is just meeting the fans, yeah, and just you know, engaging with them and just discussing about art in general. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's my favourite part of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Seeing the other artists. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. communicating with the other artists yeah, as well. Yeah. 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 Do they give you like tips and tricks on like? how to like you know help you in like general the art in general or like oh, okay. the main thing we converse about is just you know just talking about um, like different techniques, yeah, techniques absolutely, yeah. um, doing different styles. styles and just you know getting some insight into our like, personal lives you know becoming friends yeah exactly like that. yeah yeah was comic con um just meeting up with uh other artists meeting up with a couple of mates yeah hanging out really hanging like, out just, really yeah. it's just the time outside of uh, the studio yeah so oh to. nice yeah my favorite thing is uh being able to come here and experience just the great things about comic books pop culture yeah it's pretty much it's just great yeah see everyone come and converge in my spot just do what they love doing like, yeah absolutely yeah. okay cool oh yeah. uh, man favorite thing about Oz comic con uh the people you know i mean i love the artist sally and yeah. all the kind of convention stuff but um without the people uh, supporting us and enjoying like just as horrific stuff as i enjoy it yeah you know, yeah we wouldn't have a con no, so exactly. it's yeah and like volunteers as well they do so much effort and um no, definitely just all the crowds everyone's such a friendly um you know, what inspired you to become an artist in the first place? Yeah, so, um, since I was a little kid, I saw I was growing up with my cousins and they were really good at drawing. Yeah. And they kind of inspired me. My brother was good at drawing. And then I, I was pretty much the only one who actually took it to the next level. Oh, and really? So, um, yeah. Nice. So that's what started it off. So, you were the one who, yeah, actually, yeah, went through it. Yeah, went through it. Went through it. Go for it. <laughs> um, I love drawing. Just, I love drawing. Um, uh, as a kid, I never really realized that. Um, it's something that you can do as a, as a career. As a career, yeah. It was just kind of like a hobby always. Yeah. But I knew I always loved it, and obviously, like once I figured out that, oh, this is something you can do. Mm -hmm. I was like, I may as well go for it. There's no point in like, you know, not giving it a shot. You know? Yeah. No. Nice. How um, one inspired you to be an artist in the first place? That and the animated series. Oh really? Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. Bruce Tim style and Eric Rodolski in it. Yeah. What they did to do that show, like just three bottle like Batman. Right. That's awesome. Yeah. They have a very distinct art style. Yeah. 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 No, I've always been into horror and like creepy stuff. Um, but yeah, I was really into cartooning and like um, Looney Tunes and wacky stuff as well. Yeah. Um, so like meshing yeah. the two together. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cute with the music. Exactly. Yeah. Um, like a lot of my work here, you can check out. Yeah. Definitely. Um, some of my first uh, uni projects were into textuality. Yeah. So taking you know something childlike and putting it in a different genre into horror. Yeah. And that really started me on a trend of parodying and like changing all my favorite stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, then other things like Lord of the Rings, and then looking at the behind the scenes, like six disc documentary series on how they made it all. Got it. Looking it's into so um, yeah, like concept art, creature design, illustration, the way they go from you know pencil and ink drawings to, to uh, digital and then sculpture. And um, yeah, that definitely inspired me over the years. Um, and then things like you know Shaun of the Dead and horror comedy. Yeah. And um, yeah, but just you know heaps of artists online as well I follow. Um, you know, that's the good thing about art, you know, if you yeah. steal from one artist, it's plagiarism, if you steal from a hundred, it's inspiration. Yeah, it's inspiration. So, yeah, yeah it's Whoa. like, together. whenever you see an artist, like, you know, you're like, wow, that's an amazing style, it's just because you don't know their kind of inspiration for their yeah, exactly. So, yeah, lots of stuff like that. I can see you're very down to earth yeah. when you do the sketching, it's not like, Straight from digital, no, yeah, yeah. digital origins. I yeah, mean, like you, you actually do correct. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I have a strong traditional background. It's yeah. crucial to do fundamental drawings in any type of art you do, and um, any any kind of like um, you know fundamental studies. You have to do a lot of you know study anatomy, and life drawing, and figure drawing. Yeah, Kids, do your homework. Yeah. Um, because you really have to learn how to, you know, know the rules so you know how to break them and bend them. Um, so yeah, definitely um, have a look online at my work or on my uh, YouTube as well. There's a lot of behind the scenes tutorials. Oh, you have a and, YouTube? Um, yeah, man, yeah. Art of Austin Mengler. I think it's Lord uh, Netsuma, which is like my old alias online. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of my videos there as well as a lot of, um, you know, links to great YouTube channels for artists like Schoolism and um, One Fantastic Week, yeah. which is, uh, yeah, a really great podcast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just definitely check them all out. Nice. 
Um, so if you hadn't become an artist, what would you have done? Something creative, definitely. Um, definitely. I don't know, maybe I would have loved to become a musician. Yeah. Or, uh, some kind of uh, tradesman. I, would, I like doing all the tradesman stuff, like fixing things. Yeah. Um, yeah, if I hadn't become an artist, I would love to have become a artist. Absolutely, yeah. No, I don't, you don't know? Like, you wouldn't like to see a career in, like, like being a tradie or...? I don't know. Like, um... I've got another hobby of music. I like making music. Yeah, music. But I don't need, like. I don't see that as something that I can make money like, from. Yeah. It's just something that's incredibly fun. But yeah. If I can't draw, I don't. No idea. Yeah. So it's such a part of me that I don't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. You can't imagine doing no, anything else. I really else. can't. I really can't. Yeah. What would you have done if you couldn't be able to do it? Like, if you had to choose another path. Like, Creatively or just if creatively or any any other? Exactly. Hard question. Do you do this for a career? This is a career. Yeah. 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 This, is a, this has to be like a machine. No, no. Um, I was really into animation as well as a kid. Nice. So I did heaps of like you know stick fights and all that. I think they might be buried on my YouTube channel somewhere. Um, so probably something like that or maybe drama. I was really into acting and stuff as a kid as well. So. That's great. Drama right. or yeah, animation. <laughs> Nice. And, um, you don't have to answer this, but do you, as well as your art, do you um, support yourself in other ways? Like, yeah, I've like a... got a full-time job working at Apple. Oh, um, nice! Yeah, so I've got two full-time jobs essentially, so this time, uh, this full-time, actually be, three. But this, Apple, and I have a, be a child as well, so. Oh, wow, well yeah, done, so man. Yeah, so three full-time jobs. Okay, great, that's it. Thank awesome. you so much. Thank you, Ollie. And it was Jordan. Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, lovely to meet you. Alright, thank you so much. Part-time job. This is just my job. This is your job? This is my job. This is amazing. Alright, thank you so much. Man. All good, man. Yeah. All good. Um, also, could I have a shot, please? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I work as a storyboard artist as well. So I do storyboards for some small up-and-coming directors. Yeah, I've just done a small film for a work here in Melbourne. Yeah. Um, some work in the Philippines, some in America, comic books and TV shows. Animated uh, explainer videos. Nice. That's good. Alright, great. Alright, that's all. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, I do a whole mix of different income streams. I do, you know, conventions all around Australia. Oh, nice. I'll be at uh, Sydney Supernova Next Weekend and then Perth, my home show, where I'll have uh, three tables for the first time. Oh, so you're not and, from Perth? Uh, no, I'm from Perth, yeah. From so, Perth? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so you're from all the Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making trips out as much as I can. I've been touring Australia for five years with Coms. Oh, nice. Um, so, yeah, that's really awesome way to sell my art directly to people. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I do a lot of uh, freelance work and concept artwork and creature design yeah. for uh, video game projects, films as well. Okay. I was uh, just involved in a development production called, um, uh, still involved actually, uh, The Faceless Man. And um, yeah, it's just been funded on Kickstarter, mm -hmm. raised about $11,000. And then, um, yeah, developing that with the makeup artist, uh, practical effects. Yeah. Um, so it's great to you know, be in the pipeline and uh, bigger projects as well, just doing my own thing. Okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, other than that, lots of online third party print shops, we can get my stuff on tote bags and you know, pillow pieces and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I'm looking into doing a Patreon as well. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. I'm going to be launching that hopefully soon, hopefully with my first show debut. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then you know, hopefully Kickstarters and some Twitch live streaming in the future too. So that, that would be great. Very busy dude. Yeah, it's a very busy dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. All right, looking forward to seeing you next time. Awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one and check out AustinMango.com. Yeah. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm just watching these people walk past and there's all these different shapes and sizes and characters and uh, people expressing themselves. Like I did when I was a kid? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like just free. Like totally free in a totally fabulous environment where everyone's just accepted, you know? If you look at the structure of his eyes mm. and his forehead and his beard, it looks like the Phoenix. It looks like the Phoenix, exactly. <laughs> Dude, we're just leaving. 
Yeah. After a long day, yeah. Comic Con. Agreed. And we're going back home. <laughs>